Hi, I'm Susan, and this is what I'm making today. I got this cute bucket from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to give it a coat of Waverly chalk paint and celery. I think it took about a coat and touch up. Hippo reached out to me and asked if I would give their water slide decal paper a try. So this is what I'm doing. You will print the picture that you want to print onto this paper using an inkjet printer. Then you'll spray it with clear acrylic sealer. You'll give it three coats and you'll space the coats 10 minutes apart. After it's dried, you will put your little decal into your water. You'll cut around it, put it into your water for about 30 to 60 seconds. Once that little decal starts sliding on the paper, then you just slide it off onto your item and then let it dry. And it turns out so cute. Now I just took a um, distressed ink pad and went around the edges of my bucket. Since my picture was vintage looking, I wanted my bucket to look vintage looking. Now I pull out my fall florals. Some I was given to me some I got from Dollar Tree and I just decorate everything so that my bucket looks even better. And here's how my project turned out. I just it brings in the fall to me. I love the decal I found on um, graphics fairy this picture if you're interested in trying out this paper I will have a code for 30% discount listed in my description box this fall challenge is hosted by Heidi Sambal Heidi has four channels Heidi Sambal DIY Heidi Sambal home Heidi Sambal paper crafting and Heidi Sambal health and I will have all of her channels listed in the description box down below, as well as the playlist for this challenge. Be sure and check out Heidi and the playlist. You will love it. For my second project, it's another decal. And I'm using this um, bottle, I think it was a salsa bottle that I had painted once before and used it in a previous project. And I decided to make it a fall project. And I just used, did the decal just like I did before. And I have to say, it's easier with the smaller decals. But you can do it with the bigger ones. I did. And I just took some um, fall ribbon and wrapped around the top. And then I just made a simple bow and hot glued it onto the top. And that was all there was to this project and it turned out so cute. The possibilities of what you can do with this paper are endless and it just I love how vivid the color turned out. Now with a third project, I'm taking this sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm giving it a coat of Waverly chalk paint in white. I removed the, the jute string at the top. I'm saving it, I'm gonna re-add it. Now this is a big project. Now the only problem I really had with it is um, it slid to the side on me. It's just, it's so much paper to hold and um, it wanted to stretch, but I was able to smooth it out and um, fix it and I'm so happy that I did. It, it's such a pretty picture and I think that practice will make perfect on this. It's just the more you do it the easier it becomes. This is one of the first projects I tried. And you do wet the item that you're putting your decal on and I did mist it but I may not have used enough water. Now I'm inking the edges of this sign with the distressed ink, just like I did with my bucket. I also do just a few swipes on the sign and just kind of smear it with my finger to kind of give it an old aged look. Now I'm going to decorate that edge, especially since my sign moved over to the, to the right on me. I'm going to just 
hot glue flowers in that corner and I think that this was a happy mistake because I think it made it look even better. I'll just let you watch and see how I decorated. Now here's where I added my jute string back in and I just added it in and retied the knot and I'm going to make a messy bow and I just cut different strips of ribbon and make my bow and I just cinch it with a pipe cleaner and glue it down after fluffing of course. And here's how my sign turned out. I'm really pleased with it. And I think the florals just set it off perfectly. For my fourth and final DIY, I had these two pieces left off over from a previous project. So I decided to make signs with them. They were supposed to be doors on a little photo frame, but it didn't work out. And so I printed out these little blue trucks and I think they are the cutest thing ever. So I just add my decals on to each side and then I just decorate with bits and bobs of different pieces. I use some silk leaves, some pieces of coffee dyed, lace that I had and just some florals and I just attach everything and decorate it and I have my little signs. Once again, I distress with my ink pad and then I hot glue little squares onto the back so that it'll have a stand so that it will stand up. And here they are. I think they're as cute as can be and I love the color of it. They would be perfect on a tear tray. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Thank you, Heidi, for hosting this challenge. Be sure and check out her channels as well as the playlist. And until next time, bye, y'all.